what's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Life of Years. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Man, what a year 2020 has been. And I'm so glad it's over and we can start a new chapter. Man, this year has been one of the most difficult year ever. Uh, Covid hit us and it literally just controlled our lives. We couldn't travel, we couldn't go out. People fighting for toilet tissues. And my God, what a year and I'm so happy it's over. I just hope 2021 is much better and I just hope that this COVID just goes away. Uh, it's been a struggle, but before we get cracking with the video, I just wanna thank every single one of you guys that's been commenting, liking, sharing my videos. I was quite optimistic. I didn't think we will be able to do it, but we did it, baby. 3,000 subscribers before 2021. What a start to 2021. So I wanna thank you guys for making it possible. I just wanna wish you guys a happy new year and I hope 2021 brings a lot of prosperity to every single one of you guys that's watching. Let's not let coronavirus dictate our lives. I know it's a struggle, I know it's tough, but don't let coronavirus stop your dreams. Keep going, keep pushing, and you know what? You may just never know. Who thought nine months ago that I would hit 3,000 subscribers? I would have been over the moon with 500 subscribers in nine months. I've hit 3,000 subscribers. If I can do it, any of you guys can do it. I know 3,000 is not a huge milestone, but for me, it's a stepping stone and it's only up from here. You just have to start, you know. I always thought when I started my channel, uh, you need the best equipment, the best lighting, and you know, that stuff can be very expensive. To build a good studio, the right computers, the uh, cameras, the lenses, the lighting, uh, a good PC or a Mac, you're going to spend a lot of money, it's very expensive. It's not about the equipment, it's about you behind the camera. And it's about the way you tell your story. I'm still learning, I'm still new to the YouTube scene, so just stay in tune, a lot more video, a lot more content. I really, 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 really enjoy the travel videos, uh, but with COVID, uh, that's kind of put a stop into it. I've got a few surprises, the reason why I haven't uploaded in about three weeks, I've been so busy working and also uh, I've just made a huge purchase. It's literally finalizing. I'm gonna share it with you guys soon. So make sure you stay in tune and I think you guys would really like it. So I've just been working hard, no excuses. If you want something, it's not going to be given to you. If you want a Lamborghini, you need to work hard. You need to work for it because it ain't just going to appear in your doorstep. So let's start 2021 with a bang. So for me, 2021, so far, I don't want to jinx it. It's been great. 3,000 subscribers and I'm over the moon and only up from here. So new goals for 2021 and this year, I need it to be big. But um, let's not jinx it because I thought 2020 was going to be my year and it certainly wasn't. But uh, I've got a lot of things lined up on the pipeline, just stay in tune, some big surprises. Also going to be doing a giveaway real soon. So 10,000 subscribers giveaway. I know we can do it, baby. Come on. So 2020, man, what a crazy year. Let's start off with Jake Paul and Nate Robinson. I can't believe that people thought Jake Paul was going to lose. Come on. I'm no boxing expert, but my guy's been training for three years. Nate Robinson is a retired basketball player, NFL player. He's shorter than Jake Paul. He's had about seven weeks of training, whereas Jake Paul's taller, got a longer reach, weighs heavier, mm -hmm. and has been training for three years. You could clearly see who's got the advantage. And boxing is not a team sport. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Whereas football, basketball, you rely on your team. Even if you're having a bad day, your team normally carries you. And in boxing, all you need is that one punch and the fight's over. That's what happened to Nate Robinson. Lights out. Here's the knockout. He's trying to get Nate out of the ring. Oh, oh, I just feel sorry for Nate Robinson, man. Like, all the memes. And that's the thing about YouTube boxing. You just can't lose, because if you lose, you're going to be a walking meme. And you just got to feel it for Nate Robinson, man. 
it was the wrong fight for him. I don't really like Jake Paul, but then yet again, you can't hate on someone's success. I'm not a big fan of Jake Paul, I don't like the guy, but he's doing big things. He's fighting Nate Robinson, he's securing the bag, he knocked him out, and you can't hate on him for that. He did what he was supposed to do. But there's one thing that I don't like now. Like, I'm all for YouTube boxing and I'll support the YouTubers, but now it's getting out of hand because Jake Paul has had two pro fights. One with Nate Robinson, which I don't really classify that as a professional boxing fight. I had Jake Paul dissing Conor McGregor's girlfriend, offering 50 million, calling him out. Come on, like you beat Nate Robinson who's been in camp for six weeks. Now you want to take on one of their best UFC fighters. Come on, like, do you actually hate your life that much? Just keep your money. This is where YouTube boxing gets out of hand. Like, stay in your lane. Stick to YouTube boxing and stay away from, from the professionals. Someone can get really hurt. You have to give credit where credit is due. Conor McGregor has not entertained it for one bit. And it just shows that there's levels to this. Like, Conor McGregor is right here. And Jake Paul is right at the bottom. I know it's boxing, Conor McGregor's in the UFC, but at the end of the day, he's a professional fighter. Conor McGregor hasn't been entertaining it. Now, Jake Paul is shifting his attention to Dylan Dennis, one of Conor McGregor's training partners. Hey, look! It's Conor McGregor's bitch right there! Pussy! 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 Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> You're a bitch! See, this fight I would like to see. Dylan, Dennis, and Jake Paul. See, this fight makes more sense uh, because it's going to be boxing under boxing rules, whereas Dylan Dennis is a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So it's completely different. And I think Jake Paul might have a slight chance because, as I said, all it takes is one punch. See, that fight makes a lot more sense, and I would like to see it happen. But for Jake Paul and Conor McGregor, come on man, like, it's just becoming stupid now, do you know what I mean? It takes people years, it took Khabib 22 and all to get a shot at Conor McGregor, and now you have a YouTuber that's never had a professional fight to fight Conor McGregor, it makes no sense. Let's move on from Jake Paul to Logan Paul. How the hell did he manage to pull this off? I have no clue. My guy has secured a fight uh, for February with Floyd Mayweather 50 and 0 one of the all time greatest in boxing but you like the guy or hate the guy he was one of the best in the boxing scene how he managed to pull that out of the bag I don't know I've got no clue but to be honest this fight just another fight that makes no sense because Logan Paul lost to KSI and he couldn't beat a YouTuber now he wants to fight one of the best, 50 and all. There's only one thing that comes to my mind why Mayweather would agree to fight Logan Paul is because he needs the money. Because that guy spends money like no tomorrow on uh, watches, cars, strip clubs, and that money will eventually start drying up. So that's all I can think of, he needs the money. A lot of people in Mayweather's circle have said the guy spends like no tomorrow. So I think he needs the money, that's why he's fighting. Because it makes no sense. That's the only logical reason why Floyd Mayweather would agree to fight Logan Paul. This fight just literally makes no sense. It's a bit like me getting 11 players and we beat a charity team and then all of a sudden I go, you know what, let's play Barcelona, I think I can beat them. It just makes no sense. Like there's levels to this. Uh, Mayweather's light years ahead, even if he doesn't train. I don't think he even needs to train to fight Logan Paul and he'll still knock him out. But it's that what if Logan Paul gets that lucky punch because of the size, the reach, weight. He's a lot heavier than Mayweather. As a new YouTuber, I would always want my fellow YouTuber to win, but the chances of that happening is like me winning the lottery, which I really doubt. That is 2020. A lot of stories, a lot of craziness. Corona messed up our lives, but now we move on to a new chapter of 2021. I just hope 
2021 brings us a lot of prosperity as we've had a difficult year and a lot of drama you've got Jake Paul thinking he can take on the world you've got Logan Paul wants to fight Mayweather it is craziness so I want to finish this video with some of the highlights of my um, 2020 I just want to thank you guys for supporting this channel I did not think that I would hit 3,000 subscribers within nine months so I just want to thank every single one of you guys it means so much to me thank you but you guys believed in me so I want to thank you guys every single one of you guys I really appreciate you this family is about to grow before I go I want you guys to destroy the like button it helps me out a lot I want you to guys to comment share and make sure you subscribe it's your boy yes peace why not man you gotta look after the family I open my eyes now yes this is mine yes here's the keys no don't play my things like that are you being serious here's the keys no are you being serious ah! <laughs> thank you oh my god this is for me <laughs> wait this is actually mine yes Jun! Wait, Oh,